So what are you guys? We are the Sparkwood family. Hey guys, really quickly, another question. So I want to make sure we're good with this from class. So if you have something that looks like this, Okay, like I mentioned in class, the best way to think about this is we're dealing with the KSP, and you want to more or less think the KSP behaves like an equilibrium constant, right? So if you want to think about it that way, the thinking is, okay, well, you know how to do equilibrium, right? That's going to be products, right? So products over reactants, but here, this guy's a solid. Should have made that clear. Okay. And since that's the case, we won't count him. So you literally think of it like an equilibrium constant. It's products over reactants, right? Where you've got the products here, the reactants, pure solids, pure liquids don't count. And don't forget, that coefficient becomes a power. Okay? So just like we talked about in class, this is our standard KSP sort of guy. I get that. So just like we said, you start off with pure water. Imagine that. You start dunking this guy in, and you put in more and more ions. Right? That's what happens over time. But at some point, you become saturated which basically means full. You've put in as many of these ions as you possibly can, and if you try to put in more, they're just going to pop right back out. They're going to precipitate out. Okay? So the link here is that this KSP value tells you what these guys look like when you're at saturation. Okay, so let me get this straight. Started off with nothing, just pure water. You start dunking this guy in. Eventually, you become saturated, right? When you get there, some amount of this guy has dissolved in. But if you follow stoichiometry, this is a 1, that's a 1. So the same amount's formed here. This is a 1, that's a 2. So you get twice as much over here, right? So now that KSP, right, has meaning, but it only has meaning when you're saturated. So we're there, we're saturated. And so what do these concentrations look like? Well, the concentration of Mg2 plus would be some amount. And the main thing to know is that F minus, it's going to be twice that amount. You guys agree? Now if we follow that recipe, uh, the KSP says if you take the Mg2 plus concentration, and you multiply it by what? The concentration of F minus, don't forget the squared guy here. It's like a double whammy. It hits you here and here. Then these guys will give you a constant called the KSP. Okay? And in this case, you'll get 4x cubed is equal to the KSP. Okay? And if we pretend, I think in class I did something like this. I manufactured a number like that, just because the math's going to be easy. And also the test tends to be like that, pretty mellow. So you can divide both sides by 4. I take the cube root of both sides. That's going to be 10 to the negative 12. Cube rooting is taking it to the third power times this guy to the third power. On the left-hand side, you get 10 to the negative 4. And this is the amount that needs to dissolve for us to be saturated. So that is technically the solubility. So I get it. It's this many moles per liter for us to be completely saturated. I know a lot of people get stressed by this, especially if it's been a while. So just look this over, make sure you're comfortable, and then we'll talk shop.